Hey everyone, welcome to your Aura 2026 digital planner installation guide. If you've just purchased your planner or you're thinking about it, this video will walk you through how to install it on your iPad and I'll give you a quick tour so you know exactly how to get started. This planner is designed to help you stay organized, creative and intentional all throughout 2026 so hopefully you'll enjoy using it. Alright, let's start with the installation. Once you've downloaded your planner from the Aura website, you'll see a PDF file in your downloads folder. Go ahead and tap that file to open it. For this demo, I will be using the GoodNotes app, but know that any other annotations app will work. You can either stay here on the preview app to use the download links or open it in the GoodNotes app. To do so, from the share menu, select open in GoodNotes. If this doesn't appear on your screen, tap more, scroll down and choose good notes from the app list. Once it opens, good notes will ask where you want to import it. You can choose your folder of choice, then tap import as new document. On this first page of your download library, you will find the link to this exact video you're watching. If you ever need to watch it again at some point, just click on the button and it will open the link to the video. Don't forget to have read-only mode turned on to use the hyperlinks. Okay, let's start the installation process. Let's click on this button to go to step one. On this page, you can choose the design you want for your planner covers and icons. The contents of the planner are the same in both options, so don't worry about that. Let's choose the classic option. To download it, click on the text. It will open the planner in a Google Drive. Click on the three dots and hit download. Your planner will now be in your downloads folder on your iPad. To start using it, from the share menu, select open in GoodNotes. Once it opens, GoodNotes will ask where you want to import it. You can choose your folder of choice and then tap import as new document. Return to your download library and go to the next step. I have included an extra mini planner for you to start using in November and December of 2025. So if you want to use it, repeat the same process as for the 2026 planner. Okay, then the next step is downloading your stickers. You'll see here you have two options. Either download your stickers in the GoodNotes elements or individual PNGs. Let's see how both work. This first one will only work if you are using GoodNotes as your editing app. Click on the GoodNotes element and it will automatically ask you if you want to download the zip file. Once you download it, it will be in your iPad's download folder. Let's tap on it to unzip it. Here you will see there are three files for the three different sticker color options. Go back to GoodNotes and tap on your Elements icon on your menu. Scroll to the plus sign and click Import From. Here, select your sticker file of choice and it will automatically add all the stickers into your Elements tab. Then repeat for the other colors. The second option is Individual PNG Files. This is the option you are going to use if you're using another annotations app that's not GoodNotes. Repeat the download process and tap on the file to unzip it. Here you'll find three folders for the three different color options. In it are individual PNG files of your stickers. Either drag and drop into your planner or add them as sticker images. Final step of the installation are the extra planner covers and the iPad home screen icon covers. Tap on your preferred design and repeat the download process. You will now have PNG files of your covers Save your desired ones as images in your device for later. Now let's see how you can add those covers to your planner and add the planner as an icon on your home screen. To add a new cover to your planner, in GoodNotes tap the plus icon and click on image. Then select your cover of choice and it will open in your planner. Tap the menu bar, then drag it to the front of your planner. This is now the cover you will see when you're in GoodNotes. Okay, now let's see how to add your planner to your iPad home screen. Head to the Shortcuts app on your iPad. Tap the plus sign to add a new shortcut. 
On the left menu, search for GoodNotes or your app of choice. Select Open Document. Then tap and select your planner. Tap on the title to rename it. Be aware that this is the title that will be visible on your home screen. Then tap on Add to Home Screen. Click on Add Image and select your icon cover image of choice. And that's it. You can now access your planner directly from your home screen. Finally, if you want to use the Apple and Google Calendar reminders and Notion integration on this planner, let's set it up. First, head to your iPad settings and then head to shortcuts. And here, enable private sharing. You can always disable it again after the installation is over. Okay, now go back to your planner and click on the shortcut button to install it. It will open an external link in your shortcut app. Tap Setup Shortcut and here you can choose your annotations app of choice. Then add shortcut and your integration is installed. And that's it guys, your 2026 planner is installed and ready to use. You're now ready to dive in, set your goals and start planning your best year yet. If this video helped you out, feel free to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite section of your planner is. I'd love to hear and I'd love to see how you use it. So feel free to send me pictures or tag me in your pictures. I'd love to see. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy your planner.